Hello everyone. So welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic security system. So let's look at the requirements of this code. You require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. Second, you require code blocks or BS code, which is suggested for a better experience. Third, you require a Windows 10 operating system or any other latest version. So now we will be moving towards the code part. So here we go. So as you can see here, here we have certain header files included first. Then we have the main function where it asks us to enter three different variations like the password to change the password, the login page to see the data and finally the quit. Then it asks us to enter your choice. So here we enter your, our old password first and whatever we selected that should be stored inside the code spd.txt file. So here it will ask you to enter your new password and confirm your new password after which it says congratulations your password has been changed successfully. Then if you enter something incorrect then it displays sorry please enter a valid password. Then you can enter a new password if your entered password is correct. Then it asks you to change your password for security purposes. Then it says congratulations your access has been granted and if the password is wrong it says sorry the entered password is wrong. And it asks you to enter a valid choice. So this was the end of the code. Now what we'll do is we'll see the actual implementation of this code. So now let me show you the code via Visual Studio. So here we are in the VS code. Now what we are going to do is we will be checking out what this code actually looks like. So see, here this is a security system program and I have this file called code codespd.txt where I have entered my password as Putnik. So now let me run the code and I'll show it to you. Just a minute. Okay. So I am in the terminal right now. So see, it shows me the code right here. And... Uh, it asks me to enter my. So what I'll do is I'll log. Uh, first I'll change the password. Then it asks me to enter the new password which is already there in the code dot code speedy file. So I type putnet. So it asks me to enter my new password. So I say simran. Confirm my new password. I say simran again. And my password has been changed successfully. So now let me show you. I'll quit now. And I'll show you that what my password was. See. Now my password was putnet. But now it has become simran. So I hope you understood this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you.